Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just got back from my trip a few days ago and in this video, we're gonna be installing our mock-up ITVs on our 5.3 LS engine. So just like we did in the last episode, uh, I gotta spend some time moving these supports. I recently did download a new slicing software that makes it um, a lot easier to do this. Uh, these supports are a pain in the butt. So I've actually, the new software uses tree supports. So those should be a lot easier to remove for the next time I have to print this out. Uh, I'll probably do another revision here in the next couple videos. So once again, just like in the last episode, I'm just adding some threaded brass inserts in to secure the throttle bodies to the base or the top base of the intake. And once I have this done, we'll take everything out to the garage and start assembly on the engine. So this is my rat rod project that I will be installing these ITBs onto. Uh, this is a 5.3 liter um, LS base motor. Uh, this one in particular is a truck motor and so is my other one. Uh, this one's also a cast iron block, but the engine I'll be using in my final build will be an aluminum fly 5.3. So uh, anyway, um, this engine, I'm pretty sure it's locked up and uh, has some water down in it. But as far as I know, it was a rebuilt core. My brother actually gave this to me. Um, he was going to use it for a project, but uh, he kind of, um, you know, life got in the way. So now I have it. But thanks for him for giving this to me. Um, but yeah, so it's basically just a core. It's not really worth anything. It might be worth rebuilding if I can get it unstuck, but anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get everything lined up. There were a few things I'm gonna have to change with the design I have now, but I'll get into that in a little bit once I start mocking everything up. So I think first things first, I need to get all of this tape off of here because I would like to have a nice clean surface. This tape has been on here forever, so it's kind of like dried up and crumbly and it's falling down into the cylinders and everything. So I'm gonna get this off, wipe everything down with alcohol or acetone or something, and then I'll begin uh, installing the throttle bodies. So before we go into mounting our new throttle bodies and intake, I need to check a measurement. Um, when I was drawing this in CAD, I guess in some way the bolt hole here didn't get lined up perfectly with this. So what I'm going to do is I have some blue layout fluid and I'm just going to take this and paint around the intake ports and then trace it out with the scribe so I can measure how far off my bolt, my bolting surface is for this intake so I can adjust it in CAD. But let me just show you that and then we're gonna move forward with um, installing those guys. So maybe I'll expound upon this a little bit more. Um, if you are familiar with the LS platform or the way the, the intakes mount to the head, um, of course, because it's a V8, the valley in the angle of the intake mounting surface is at an angle, but the bolt locations are, you know, flat. 
so the bolts go straight down as opposed to going straight into the head like that. So it just posed some challenges when designing in CAD. So when I was designing the angle of these ports, I think at some point my access point, cause I had it, um, you know, 90 degrees to the bottom like this, and then I had to angle it so it was like this, so it would mount straight in like this. And I guess my access point where I did that adjustment was incorrect. So my bolt holes are a little bit too far, um, too far down, I believe. So I'm just gonna paint on, I'm just gonna paint this on here. And this is just blue dye. And this is where my adjustment needs to be made. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint that on all four of these ports because that's where I'm gonna take my measurement from. And I'll just let that dry for a couple minutes before I mount my intake onto it. All right, so that's dried for a few minutes and I'm just gonna mount this. These bolts are a little short, but it'll at least catch a couple threads so I can at least basically get this installed. Just gotta go find an Allen key. Okay, we're, we're on there. Okay, and just finger tight, that's all I need. And that's, that's on there good enough. So if you can see, you can see the blue layout fluid in there. That's how off I am. So I'm just gonna take this scribe I'm kind of in the way, but I'm just gonna scratch that layout fluid. And that should be that should be good. So as you can see, my mark is there in um, you know this with the scribe, and it's relatively consistent. I did make the holes in my intake. Uh, seven millimeters and these are M6 bolts that hold this on and I just wanted to leave some wiggle room and it's pretty simple enough just to look down the ports and make any adjustments uh, if, if I am off a little bit but um, basically I just want to get my caliper here maybe I'll measure it like that and that'll get me close enough that looks that looks good right there. So if we focus, we're about five millimeters off. So I'll just go in the CAD software and just move those bolt holes down just a little bit. All right, so I just took the measurements across all four ports and five millimeters will get me right where I need to be. And I have had quite a few people ask me if I'm gonna make my 3D file available for download but the first thing is it's not done i still have quite a bit of work to do on it before i have a final version that i would even be happy to release and second of all this is a lot of work um, i'm releasing these videos as quickly as i can but it really takes a lot of time to design these and anyone that does cad work and does work in the automotive industry designing parts knows how much work goes involved so I probably will make it available in the future for sale, or I might even make a Patreon account that if you become a member, uh, maybe I'll make the files available. I'm still thinking about how I would do that, but leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Uh, I appreciate everyone reaching out and a lot of people have even offered to purchase the file from me. So that's definitely something I'll look into once I get this thing up and running and get a working uh, model completed. So anyway, We'll continue on with the install. I'll find some longer bolts. Went inside and changed because that was my favorite shirt. And things were starting to get a little bit messy and serious, so. Gotta find a 10 millimeter.
washer down. So I ground that washer down because, let me just get it out of this. Ugh. I'm trying. I'm trying to line this intake up with the ports. And the washer was getting in the way. So I ground it down. Lightly, not too tight. Still too tight. There we go. Get it out. Plastic. Okay, we're good. I gotta do one more over here. Oh. Actually, it might be okay. Yeah, we're good here. So I just had to grind that washer down so I could slide this over more and line up the ports. Sorry if the lighting isn't good to see, but yeah, that's what I did. So I got the uh, throttle bodies and the manifolds bolted down to the block. And the next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna install my fuel rails. And I already have the brackets installed on this side and I just gotta put them here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bolt those things up, see how they fit. And you know, we'll all get to see together. We can now say that we have successfully installed our 3D printed intake onto the 5.3 liter LS engine. Uh, there are definitely some revisions I'm gonna have to make. I think I mentioned it earlier, I'm gonna have to change the holes for the mounting bolts for the intake to the head. Um, and I ovaled them the way I did, or not ovaled them, 
I made them big like I did because I do plan on using aluminum inserts in those holes. In that way, I will be able to clamp down on metal as opposed to clamping down on plastic. And especially when the engine's heating up, you know, it'll heat the intake also, and the plastic will probably soften just a little bit. So I'll probably, um, you know, I'll have those inserts into that plastic so that way the clamping force doesn't change on the intake itself. Also, I think my injector holes in the intake are a little bit too shallow. Uh, if you didn't see, or I don't know if I had that in there or not, but the injectors and the fuel rails are a little bit high compared with the um, injectors themselves and or the brackets rather because the brackets were a little bit too low and the, the bolt holes weren't lining up between the, the bracket and the fuel rail itself. So I think just making that a little bit deeper will help with that. And also right now the injectors are bottoming out on the material inside of the intake manifold. I don't want the injector bottoming out. Um, I would rather the bracket just be simply holding the injector in place. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll probably get around to those uh, changes here in the future. Um, I'm probably just gonna make a list. But for now, we can move forward with the design because none of these things are critical to that. So. Hopefully in the next few weeks or so, I can move on to making a throttle linkage. So if you guys haven't already, please subscribe and also check out the rest of the build on this rat rod project. Um, this is just a small aspect of this build. And if you wanna see how this has come along within the last few months, then check out my playlist rat rod build on my channel page. And also, if you're liking this video, please consider subscribing. Uh, most of you guys that are watching aren't subscribed, so. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to see the next video, and I'll see you then. So I heard some loud footsteps outside, and it is quite dark, and I'm kind of hoping there isn't a bear out here. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and go inside.